Hey guys, welcome to Table Talk, the show where we talk about the things you tell us to talk to about on a table from the, the from the, the, the Twitters yes. with the hashtag Table Talk and from the Reddit Did with it. the r slash source fed. You do it there, we do it, we talk about it, let's go, boom, man. We say it every time. All right. From Onomata Pedo Bear. That's pretty cool. That's really good. Onomata like Pedo Bear. God dang it. That was a great. What if Pedo Bear's like Onomata Pio is Pedo Pedo? Onomata Pionyu, Pedo Bear. Ah! Oh. That's R. Kelly's Pedo Bear. That's R. Kelly. Assuming Spider Man theory to be true, what radioactive animal would you want to be bitten by? Remember, you don't mm. change your appearance, i.e., grow wings, just gain their abilities. With my luck, I'd be bitten by a radioactive human. Okay, so you just get just, human just, abilities. Cool. You just be more um, human, but the human that you were bitten by is kind of a dick, so you're just a big dick. Love it. Oh, I, I feel Owen like I feel like everybody <laughs> wants to say some kind of bird or something so you oh, could fly. Right. I feel like that's the go-to answer. You still get to fly if you don't grow. Yeah, wings? I don't know. I don't know if you do because here's the thing: it's like Spider-Man can produce the the. Web. I think Spider like Spider-Man might already be the it's sweet. It's a really the coolest. sweet one. It's a really, really good. So I don't like grow a crazy tail or anything. A gecko could thing. be cool because you could like lose parts of your body oh. and regenerate them. What about a chameleon? You could change color and that blend with cool. your surroundings. Change, That'd be that great. That could be cool, but still, but still climb like walls. Your, your appearance is interesting. Well, and then it depends on which uh, Spider-Man mythology you're following mm -hmm. because in some of them he gets the natural ability right. to shoot right, right out right, of his right. body, but in others he had to build the thing. Mm. So then he's just a climber and a super strength in spidey sense, which spidey is fake. Sense. I don't think it's <laughs> spidey sense is just, yeah. um, What I would it be? Here's the thing. I watched a documentary on orcas, and they apparently have part of the brain that humans don't. It's like part of their brain is like, f like swollen out, and it's the part yeah. that it c controls emotion. So they're like super emotional. Wow. So like you cry for seventeen. You're days thinking about that documentary still, aren't it's you? It's so good. I want to be an orca. <laughs> But so you would be able to swim underwater. That's yeah. Ability. I'd be able to like swim, and then if I didn't like someone, I'd grab their foot and take them to the bottom of my pool no, no. and drown them. No, no, Miss Turney. Swimming underwater is a pretty good one. Like anything in this, the ocean mm. could be pretty sweet. Because um, I'm, so I'm you going to be Aquaman. I'm going with the ability. Yeah, maybe I'm going with the ability <laughs> to. Uh, uh, I'm going with the with the thought that if you're a, if you do a bird, you don't you get like hollow bones, but you can't necessarily yeah, fly okay. because you can't do that. So I'm gonna say something in the sea. I'm gonna go with anglerfish so I can swim underwater and attract the ladies with my light. You don't get Never a mind. light. Never mind. I don't get a light don't because get I'm a, a male anglerfish and I just gotta suck on a woman for the rest of my existence. That's a horrible answer. <laughs> <laughs> I love breathe. watching your thought process through that. Yeah, all gotta come back up. They're super smart too. In this documentary, mm -hmm. <laughs> there was starfish. a thing where they I'm were they knew they were gonna be trapped. They'd like been trapped before, so they saw the boats coming and they were like, "Ah, oh, shit! They want the babies." So the male orcas were the decoy, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. went into the cove that the boats were trying to herd them in. And the mamas with the babies went off in the other direction, and they totally. I also evaded watched capture another thing about orcas that doesn't paint the, them in such a friendly light, where they basically. Gang beat another whale to death. It's oh, baby. No, no. they they show in they're this documentary. They're evil sons of bitches. No, in this documentary they show that like it's apparently like women run all the pods, and they when they introduce the male whale into the pool at SeaWorld, the women like just bit him to shit, and they it's called raking. They like take their teeth and they like rake him down the Holy side and make him all bloody. Crap. It's called it's initiation. Crazy. Yeah, blood in, blood out. I don't like that Hazel. I have a feeling no matter what we pulled okay. out of that bowl, you were gonna find a way to talk about that damn documentary. It didn't even matter. <laughs> matter. I'm sorry, yeah. I love Free Willy so much and it was like a to harken back to how much I love that damn movie. Okay, so you're saying that you want to be an orca because they're so emotional. Would you really want to up the emotion in your life? Pretty sweet. Like I want to be more emotional than I, I already am. I don't feel like I'm the most emotional person I know. No, but just in general. I found out the way to beat the whole your body doesn't change thing and still be able to fly. Do it. I'm going to be a, a caterpillar. And I'm gonna metamorphosize into a butterfly after cocooning myself, and then I'm gonna grow my wings. That's body changing. But it's body changing in the realm of getting the ability. So the ability of a caterpillar is to change your body. Can you I cocoon know. back? No. Can you make so? no. backwards? No. Not with these fabulous wings. No <laughs> way, girl. Do these wings, <laughs> broken wings. And I'll get that cool little. No, I wouldn't get the little sucker thing. My body doesn't change. Right? See? No matter. It's tricky. I, I like starfish. You mentioned that kind of under your breath before. That'd be awesome. Like chop off my arm, I get a new one. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. That's like Aquaman has sex with Wolverine. I don't know how I feel about that. I bet that exists. Oh, I'm sure. I I'm sure that it does. I, I, did you know? It took me years to find out about Frodo Samwise porn. 
Why? That's like the most popular slash isn't fiction that there just, is. Isn't that just the end of Lord of the Rings? Uh, it upset Return of me the King? so much. Wait, why? Isn't that in the extended edition just because a big long porno on the bed? Isn't that Sam, what that is? Sam marries Rosie. That's not how that works. Rude. It makes me they, upset. He follows him to Mordor. You and think he doesn't he want that? I would have been able to carry the her. Ring. But I can tea. carry you, you in my mouth. Boom. <laughs> And in my, okay, orcs awesome. are cool. Um, at Cat Nipple Girl mm-hmm. mm. says, do you think if we had superpowers that some people wouldn't be able to date because of conflicting superpowers like water and electricity? I think oh, if we I had superpowers, know. some people wouldn't be able to date because they'd be able to read minds and then they'd never be able to date Well, anyone. that's like Suki Stackhouse can only date Sorry, vamps because she can't know. read their mind. Well, she likes to only date vamps because she can't read their mind. Um... <laughs> <laughs> is that a really weird comparison? Yeah, it's yeah. fun, fun to just that like jump or, right into like, that. like Rogue can't, Rogue has a hard time dating. She can't touch nobody. That's rough. Yeah. The Rogue you know? Gambit love story is something that I was connected to for a very long time. Well, because He's such a, a charming little, like, Cajun and he just a, wants love. How do you feel love. about it? He just wants love. And she's just this southern belle that I think is good on the inside but has this just like life force raping ability that just keeps her from being able to find love. It's really tragic. <laughs> I'd like to give her some life force raping abilities. <laughs> what's that What's that soap commercial where it's like great for touching all your thousand parts or something like that? It's, it's a soap Leave commercial. 2000? Maybe. Yeah, it's a, some soap commercial that's all about how lovely it is to touch other people. And every time I saw it, I was like, oh, rogue. Like, I'm so sad. Even if she buys that soap, she's still F-D-A. You're sitting in your living room watching yeah. a soap commercial thinking about Rogue. I feel like this question, they're just like, it's like a Pokemon question. Like, what elements don't <laughs> mesh together? And if one was to battle no. another, would you do... A- Type advantage. Yeah. I actually think they would complement each other nicely. Electricity and water? Well, I'm saying if you had two opposing uh, elemental powers as superheroes, maybe they could complement each other. So it's like where one person's, you know, because every power has its positive and its negative. So where one person's negative aspect of their superpower comes in, maybe the other person could help balance it out and vice versa. Or how would they not hurt each other? Well, that's that's a question. Sometimes we get into these, like, conversations of just hypothetical realities, and I'm just not prepared for it because it's so early. I'm like, we're taking this damn thing so serious, and all I want to do is grab another question. That's why I feel like you are fully on board for my orca story, and that's why. Usually you're first on the superhero question. Well, I feel like maybe we exhausted it in the first question. (laughs) That's true, too. Superhero abilities. Uh, Philip Mayer at Father Loggy says... What forgotten classic movies do you think are being overlooked these days, and what are the future classics? Oh, this will be fun. You love classic I movies. I do love I find Gone classic. with the Wind, like, super boring, but you love it. I love it, it so much. Yeah. It, well, I, but I also love the older movies because I like studying everything that happened around them. Like, um, like okay, Rhett, Rhett Butler, Clark Cable, didn't want to take the role at all because he'd only done westerns and he was only ever tough guy, and he read the script and he was like, I have to, like, have my da- spoiler alert my daughter dies and I have to cry and be all vulnerable and I have to be in love and I'm not I'm not a good enough actor for that so the studio he was getting a divorce the studio gave his wife who was divorcing him millions of dollars and then said to him hey we're giving your soon to be ex-wife millions of dollars to sue you for everything that you're worth unless you do this movie really yep whoa and so he got effed into taking it by the studio and turns out he's amazing that's but like um, little, really that's true yes that old Hollywood little bits crazy. of that stuff like great. that to me make those movies so fascinating. The end of that movie. Like, I'm not, Go like, back and watch that no, movie I'm down now that knowing mo- that. I'm down with the end of that movie when he just is like, boom! <laughs> it's, well. That's a good That's a good ending to way too long of a movie. Just a miserable human no being way. told to F off. Oh, it's so good. It I don't give a damn. But yeah, when you, when, you get all, when you get all the little tidbits of stuff that went into making those movies then and like some of those shots, like they just, they, they didn't have the technology that they have now. Uh, that's the stuff that fascinates me about I do respect the, 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 I the love s- them. super classic, uh, uh, very much respected mm-hmm. shot where she's walking through like the carnage the of the bodies and it's just the camera slowly goes up and just keeps getting wider and wider. That was super ambitious for back then and I can mm-hmm. respect that. Crazy. But it's like a four hour setup to just the, one of the best punchlines ever. <laughs> I'm gonna say boom. <laughs> that should be. You should re-edit and do. I mean, do you got gone with the way the, the Joe version? version. <laughs> um, oh, that's good. good. <laughs> I just started thinking of your. Car? 
I just started thinking of your seven movie for Bratz and Brew. Oh, yeah. yeah. It should be a new ending for <laughs> Gone with the Wind, but the whole thing should be you guys being like, let's just cut the whole damn movie. Yeah, let's just, can we just do like seven minutes of Brett just doing seven different things? No, you need to you build know? up. That that end moment wouldn't be as sweet without the build. Yeah, maybe two um, less hours. So I was going to say Auntie Mame. I just I just only know the one famous scene. I just know What's the, the wire hangers. The cow, the, no, 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 no. That's Mummy Dearest. Oh, that's Mummy what I'm Dearest. thinking. Two movies that's I've Joan Crawford. Oh, you've never Wait, seen Mummy Dearest? Auntie Mame, that's a musical. No, Auntie Mame is, is not a musical. There is a musical of it, though. There is a musical of <laughs> it's it. A, it's, Maybe I'm crazy. It's like it's early. Miss Piggledy Wiggledy, sort of. It's just like this aunt that's like really eccentric and weird, okay. and she's taking care of her niece who's like really posh and too like mm-hmm. on her own high horse. So Auntie Mame takes it on a couple of I like. Citizen Kane. Yeah, I don't like. I, I it, bu- it bugs the hell out of me whenever it's number one on the best movie list ever. But I, I do respect it. What it did back then. If you watch it now, it's like watching a modern movie. Um, trying just a bunch of different things. There's a musical number in it. It's really good. It's good storytelling. Uh, Orson Welles was amazing. He was like 27 when he did it. When he wrote it and He's starred great. in it. It's nuts. Uh, really good movie. Uh, I also like On the Waterfront. Okay, uh, I've never seen that. It's Brando. It, Really good. It's the one where he's oh. like, I could have been a contender. Yeah. It's really good. Um, Speaking of Brenda, how do you feel about Streetcar? I've never seen Streetcar. Uh, I read the book. What? Okay, I've so heard. Streetcar the movie, that was Elliot you Morgan. You seen it, Elliot? Yeah, um, come, come here and talk so... about why you like Streetcar, Elliot. Huh? Put That's your face in here. Why do you like Streetcar? That is Streetcar, yeah. Um, it's like one of the, actually the only, uh, one of the few old movies that I really enjoy watching. Okay. Like a standalone. I also like the play, because I grew up doing theater, and I'm soft spot for Ted Will. <laughs> Name my fan club for him. Well, uh, okay, and <laughs> your skin looks so soft. The down there. <laughs> no, the thing that I like about streetcars is when acting, like the style of acting in Hollywood, was really beginning to change. So Vivian Lee is still very presentational, oh, uh, but which Brando's works for her character. But Brando is very normal, like yeah. minimalistic, and their scenes together are like mind-blowingly amazing to watch. Mm-hmm. That's a really good point. Yeah. Thanks, Al. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if like all of you guys out there are acting aficionados or whatnot, but Brando was basically the one that uh, moved it from stage acting on film mm-hmm. to how we enjoy our movies today, which is more of a realistic approach to acting, and uh, it's all because of him. Yeah, people much. would watch him on set and say, he's just not doing anything, this is going to look horrible, and then watch the footage on tape, and like they were fascinated, Dude, that, it was so got, captivating. Brando was a young man, Ooh, what a Ooh, sexy he's dude. A sexy man. What There's a great a sexy anime dude. of him smiling. I would say one of the new <laughs> classic movies, Goodfellas, should be... One of the That's new probably getting into classic classics. Movies. I mean, what, what, maybe there's a definition Neo that I don't classics, know. Neo-classics, something like that. Good goddamn movie. What is the... Forrest Gump? 20 years? Oh, Forrest Gump. Is that so good. 20, 30 years? Like, how much time needs to pass before it's actually considered, like, a classic? I don't know. I think it, I That's, mean, I consider it a classic, but I don't, not, like, I don't consider it in the same realm as, like, a Mommy Dearest or, like, a, you know, a Gone with the Wind. But, That's what this mm. is. What are the future classics yeah. is the second part yeah. of this question. So that's why what I are the future classics? Goodfellas, good Shawshank Forrest Gump. Redemption. Roger Rabbit, Forrest Gump. Rabbit, Forrest Gump Roger Rabbit, I uh, love that movie. Princess so Bride. People, yeah, people would consider back to the Back to the Future movies mm-hmm. classics now. For sure. Uh, any, With, like we're just gonna anything Zemeckis apparently. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's yeah, so many. Zemeckis we could go over and over again. Apocalypse Now. I mean, that actually probably mm-hmm. is just oh, a classic. Oh yeah, that's probably just a classic. Um, now. Schindler's, List. Yep. Schindler's List. I feel I mean, like that's already considered a classic too. Mm-hmm. So Elf. Many. I know it sounds silly, but like I'm thinking of it now because it's the holiday season. Um, but it, it, I, almost everyone I know, that's like a must-watch Christmas movie I, now. I think it is officially. No way. Yeah, no, Elf, yeah. Really? I think, yeah. I, I think Elf Absolutely. out of all the modern movies is the only one that is officially in the, uh, the, the modern Christmas classics. You don't think Love Actually is in there? No. Really? No. Wow. Wow. I've only seen Elf... Once and I was like, oh, that was good. People love Elf. No, yeah, Elf is, Elf. and now now okay. there's Elf the musical, which my mom saw and said she did not appreciate oh. as much as oh, the really? movie. Oh, yeah, my I mom do like I, into Buddy it. the Elf. What's your favorite color? I thought that was very fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one line was good. I'll take that. And then Zoe Deschanel, she was a blonde. Very pretty. She's adorable in it. Pretty She's singing good. voice. Uh, well, you guys, what are some of the movies that you think are modern day classics, the yeah. neo classics, and what are some of your favorite super old ass movies? Let us know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, if you guys want to contribute to the future shows, please on Twitter's hashtag Table Talk, mm-hmm. give us some suggestions, and on the Reddit's r slash uh, SourceFed, get into the uh, the topic thread and give us some uh, give us some of your ideas that you would like us to spout bullcrap about. That'd be great. We can do that. Hey, my name's Joe Beretta. I'm McTurney. I'm Trisha Hershberger. Have a wonderful day. Really good. Make it a nice one. Smell pretty good, <sighs> camera girls. <laughs>